What's going on guys? Today I'm going to be talking about some stocks and ETF that I'm actually looking at to get into maybe by the end of this month. It all depends on what happens with them. This is actually going to be my last video that I shoot in this apartment because I just bought a house. <laughs> apartment living, I love it so much. Yeah, right. It's much better to own a house. Anyways, enough talk. Let's get right into these stocks. All right, the first one I'm looking at here is UGAS and this is the ETF for natural gas. I actually already made some money on this. I bought it around $14 and I ended up selling around 19. So I missed some money there, but it's, it's all right. And this basically ran up really hard due to the hurricane coming in. And then I had this pullback right here. And then there was a terrorist attack on the oil field. So that made it go up. And now it's basically having this really hardcore pullback. And the mark that I'm looking for it to hold is right around $18. I'm thinking this is gonna be support for it. So if we look at Ford slash NG, this is what you really want to look at right here when you're following UGAS. And natural gas pretty much has the same support level here right around 246. So I'm looking for a bounce off of that. I'm pretty sure that tomorrow's going to be a bloodbath for this. And I'm basically saying that because of these candlesticks right here. Anytime you have a big red one and a small green one, pretty much the stock is going to be bearish. But if this was reverse and this was green and this was red, then it would be a bullish stock. But right now, you guys is very bearish. I'm definitely going to want confirmation though on the support level right here. Because as of right now, they're fully stocked for gas. So when they're fully stocked, the price of gas is going to go down. But once it starts getting colder and they start using the production, that's when you guys should start to go up. But as of right now, I'm waiting for confirmation on this one. And this is something I'm going to be watching until the end of this month. MBRV is the next one here that I'm going to be watching. This had a really good run here and now it's dumping pretty hard. And it's coming on to some pretty hard support here right around 213. But once again, I want to make sure that it's going to hold the support level here. But I really like this stock right now because they had an FDA approval. And pretty soon they're going to start selling this drug and that's going to make the stock to start running up. But until that happens, this stock is just being manipulated very badly right now. But I am looking for it to bounce off this 2 13 level right here so these are two stocks that i'm going to be watching right now until the end of the month and then of course i'm always keeping my eye on stocks that are gapping up so if you're not subscribed to my channel yet please subscribe so you get these stocks that i'm going to be pushing out there because some of these gap up stocks are good for day trading and they're also good to hold for a couple of days and it basically all depends on the news that they have and that's what i dig into and if you haven't already please hit that like button down below and don't forget to follow me on twitter because i'm always tweeting about stocks that you know that i'm making trades on that i don't have time to make a video on